everyone welcome back to it's Dwight cooking show today I'll be giving you a jerk seasoning recipe hot and spicy jerk seasoning recipe I hope you guys enjoy this video okay here I have my list of ingredients which is my thyme my scallion my black pepper my pimento or allspice as they call it my vinegar my olive oil salt my scotch bonnet pepper my garlic and some sugar let's get it on the way now after washing the scallion I'm going to chop off the root and dice it and get prepared for the recipe here we go now for those who can't manage spicy food you will have to use less pepper but as I said it's summertime now so it's barbecue time so you know it's jerk chicken jerk ribs the f those things put it in a dish and set it aside and do the next process okay guys next for the time wash it got my gloves because you know I'm gonna deal with a lot of spices so I don't want to accidentally put my hands on in my face or in my eyes so let's get it on the way here we go you can actually put everything in one plate because it, everything is going in the blender so next we're gonna just clean off the surface and continue the process we're going on to the pepper next now as I said if you can't manage all the spices what you can either do is use less pepper or to de-seed them. De-seeding mean you cut them and take out all the pepper, the pepper seeds because you know the seeds are, are the spiciest apart from the skin. So what I'm gonna do now is just chop these in two and just add them to the dish. You know what I was talking about earlier, see the seeds? Those are the spiciest. So you, what you wanna do is clean them out if you can't take too much spice. Now that we've done this, we're gonna Add it to our bowl and do the garlic next. So what you want to do is totally clean this area, get rid of all the pepper and then add to the garlic. Okay. So what you want to do now is just peg all the garlics and get rid of the skin. Now what you're going to do is just Simple and easy. And you just look at that out the skin. So I'm gonna continue the process and get back to you. Okay, here you go. So I don't really have to cut them because I already crushed them. So I'm just gonna add them to the plate. Look at all those colors. Beautiful. Last but not least, I'm gonna add a piece of ginger. Now this is the ginger, the organic ginger. So it, it don't have to add a lot. I'm just gonna peel it and put it in. Okay guys, here we are now at the blending process. You see my herbs and spices. I'm gonna add it to the blender. Ooh, it's burning the eyes. Gonna add the sugar. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of my allspice. About a teaspoon or, or maybe two. Because you want to get that jerk, jerk taste. I'm gonna add my, a teaspoon of black pepper because you want to give it that seasoning, that, that spicy taste. About a half a teaspoon of sea salt. My olive oil, about a tablespoon and a half. vinegar 
didn't pull it yet. Just want to measure it. About roughly one and a half tablespoon. Now it depends on how spicy you want it to be. <coughs> right now it's kicking. Okay, that's all the ingredients. What, what am I missing? I'm not missing anything. Okay, we're gonna get ready to blend. Okay, <laughs> whoa, Ooh. okay guys, okay guys, there you go, nice, now we're gonna just add it to the jar, here I have my jar, so I'm gonna pour it in, I think this spoon is a little bit too big, See the finishing product and just a list of my ingredients. Guys, my eyes are burning from the spice. Now, as I said, you can use this on your jerk pork, your jerk chicken, fish, deer, you name it, or any wild game. If you don't have these peppers, you can use chili peppers. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.